Hey there and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you about Chat AI. So for those who aren't familiar, Chat AI or Chatbot AI as it's called is a form of artificial intelligence that is used to create virtual assistants that can interact with people in natural conversational ways. These chatbots can be used for a wide range of applications from customer service to online shopping. One of the biggest advantages of chat AI is its ability to handle multiple tasks simultaneously. Unlike a human assistant, a chatbot can handle multiple conversations at a time, which can save time and improve efficiency. Another advantage of chat AI is its ability to handle multiple tasks simultaneously. Unlike a human assistant, a chatbot can handle multiple conversations at once, which can save time and improve efficiency. Another advantage of chat AI Another advantage of chat AI is its ability to learn and adapt. As a chatbot interacts with more people, it can use machine learning algorithms to improve its response and become more ac accurate and helpful. Of course, chat AI is not without its limitations. One of the biggest challenges of chat AI is creating a chatbot that can understand and respond to a wide range of inputs in a natural and engaging way. Uh, this requires sophisticated natural language processing and machine learning algorithms, which can be difficult to develop and maintain. Despite these challenges, chat AI is an exciting and rapidly evolving field with many potential applications. As the technology continues to improve, we can expect to see more and more chatbots that are, that are able to provide valuable services and improve our daily lives. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to the video about the latest developments in AI and technology. But this script right here was written by chat AI which is why you saw me looking down at the screen. So as you can see, the output from chat AI is pretty damn good. And I would go so far as to say it's just way better than the, input, the output I used to get from Jarvis. Now, whether or not Google can tell if this is an AI bot that's, that's uh, written this, I have no idea right now. Uh, I've created an, an, a new website where I've copied and pasted a whole lot of uh, AI generated content from chat AI and also uh, using DaVinci's 003, which is the latest algorithm that's, that chat AI is based on. And I'll go into both of these in this video. So for starters, um, I would say uh, this, is, this is an impressive technology right here. And I'll go into all the stuff that I've been able to generate using chat AI. But first, here's how you go in, you log in, you did a create an account, I already had an account. I went ahead and talked about OpenAI in one of my previous videos. I might put a link of that in this video. And you will see that um, I already had a chat AI account. I went ahead and logged in. If you have a Gmail account, it just log in with your Gmail account. And it's it takes three seconds quite quite literally. Links to both uh, to chat AI can be found in the description. You can click the link, log in, and this is not an affiliate link. This is still under testing. Now, right now, this is free to use, and all of this uh, that I've generated with I'm showing this video is from the free version. And the reason why this is free is because they're using human input to allow the algorithm to learn how to use. It's really teaching the uh, algorithm to learn, and which is why. Um, the more people that use it, the faster this will learn. And when, once this has, uh, once this is out of beta, um, this is going to be a paid app. And I think this is going to be a pretty expensive paid app uh, moving forward. So right out of the bat, so I was able to generate some source code. Uh, I know a little bit of Python. I went ahead and I asked. So this is what I got. And I put this up on the screen right here. So this is what I asked it to generate. And it generated this in Python. Um, this code defines a function, and it goes into detail about it. Um, but, let, but let's start from the real, from the very beginning. Um, so I logged into Chat AI um, and Chat GPT. By the way, this is called Chat GPT. So I logged into Chat GPT, and I also logged into Playground. If you're not sure what Playground is, Playground is beta.openai.com. It uses uh, text DaVinci Resolve three. It uses the same algorithm as um, Chat GPT. So. What I did was the first question I asked was, what is a cat? And this is in chat GPT and chat GPT responds where a cat is a domesticated animal. And uh, then I said, how to train a car. And obviously a car is a non-living thing. So it just went ahead and said, you can't train cars, which is also, this also goes to say that uh, the AI understands the difference between a living and a non-living thing. And then there is um, that I asked her how to train a cat, and then it goes into you know how to train a cat. Um, oh, all right, so how to train? Uh, 
to train a cat. All right. So training a cat can be challenging, but rewarding process. Some of the basic tips, some of the basic steps for training a cat include establish a routine for feedback, playing. So it goes ahead and types all of this down. And then I asked it to write a 2000 words. I'll write it 2000 words about being a freelancer. And then it, I just, I'll just go ahead and put this up on the screen for you guys. And it just writes me this entire, this entire essay. Uh, and then I do, I asked the same thing in um, chat GPT. Uh, in uh, OpenAI, and I uh, said so write 2,000 words about being a freelancer, and I'll put the side by side on the screen, and you can see the output. And it's the output is is, is really very really impressive. Uh, this is this is unlike I have seen from Jarvis, and was, this is with very little input, uh, which, which 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 tells me that um, we're going to see a lot of improvement moving forward because this is just the beta, and when the final version comes out, we're going to see a lot of improvement. Um, with it and this is and since they open this up to everyone and just about everyone who is watching my video can use it or anyone else can use it which means that this is going to learn real fast because even right now there are like hundreds and thousands of people that are using it and so the AI machine learning is getting a lot of practice and people are asking it all kinds of questions so I asked it my, my own set of really awful questions and um, it, 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 it responds very well so one of the uses I see it being used as is you can ask as you know, uh, so I asked this to so write an outreach email asking for backlinks, and it, it wrote me a pretty good outreach email. So this could be great for you know writing emails to clients and prospective clients doing outreach. You can just have it generate, and this would with minimal editing since you don't really need to pass any copy checking program. You don't need to get through Google to use this. Um, so you can just use this AI to generate great uh, sales pages. Um, I was a sales emails, by the way. So sales emails, uh, introduction emails for your company, um, and even you know stuff that goes onto your LinkedIn page. So this is going to be a very good way to do it. Um, I asked him to write a dirty joke and come up with you know what, uh, why was the MacBook sad and because it had too many problems. I also asked it to code me a chatbot, and I went ahead and coded this in Python, which looks. So I've not tested this. I've not tested the code, I've not run the code, but this look, code looks pretty plausible. I think this can be used. If someone has used this code, just let me know. I don't have the time to really use it. Um, then I asked her to write an, a, a, a YouTube script, which you saw me uh, you know, leading with, that you saw me opening this video with. And I think the YouTube script was also pretty good. I wouldn't have said things the way that it said, but you know, all right, so great. So then I asked me to sell, to sell me this pen and it came up with this output. Again, very, um, very impressive output. I asked it to write me a Hello World program in C++. Again, very impressive um, output. And then I asked it to tell me a fat mama joke. And it said, your mama so fat, she use, uses a mattress as a, for a tra trampoline. So again, I mean, the, the, the output is, 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 is impressive. Subscribe. I'm going to have another video coming up where I use, uh, where I take all the text that I've generated here and I'll pass it through a, a few programs that, that check for GPT-3 uh, and see if they're able to detect how good this, uh, just to see if, if that program is able to detect GPT-3. Also, I put this on my websites. So I've, I started a website, I've already put on 15 pages of content. I wanna see you know, if that new website gets flagged, if Google indexes it, how that turns out before I actually start recommending people you put this on their money site. So I'm not gonna recommend you guys put this on, on your money site, but you know, if you guys wanna take a risk, you know, you're always, you're always welcome to do that. But for now, I'm not gonna ask that you put this on your money site. It is a great thing to play around with, but this should not go on your money site. And if you're doing work for clients, if you're writing for clients, do not use AI to write for clients right now, because if they have a problem, you're gonna use a client, you're gonna lose a client. So as always, like and subscribe, leave a comment below and share if you think other people will like the videos and I will see you guys in the next video.